What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Welcome to today's video, which is a what I wore this week episode, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna talk straight to the camera. Today I've got seven outfits for you, and believe it or not, fall is around the corner. So in collaboration with Abercrombie, who's sponsoring today's video, you know I love what they've been doing over the last couple of years. I'm gonna show you seven early fall outfits and why I'm talking directly to the cameras because let's face it, I have not been posting super regularly. Life has been messy, life has been crazy. There was a recent update. Believe me, the channel is not dead. I wanna keep this going, I wanna keep it steady at least with the weekly outfits. So, without further ado, let's get started to talk about outfit number one, which is what I'm wearing right now. Up top, we've got two pieces from Abercrombie that are a match made in heaven. We got this very dark green, it has a little bit more of a bluish tint than a yellow tint, so it's leaning a little bit cooler, both in the hoodie as well as in this really nice corduroy shirt jacket. Pairs so, so nicely together. On my legs, we've got a pair of Madewell denim jeans in a uh, relaxed, tapered fit, size 31, 32, absolutely amazing. And then on my feet, we've got sneakers from a brand called Clay. Recently discovered them, absolutely love them, and they've got that nice little heel detail and obviously the green sole that perfectly ties in with these green accents. As a base layer up top, we have this white t-shirt underneath just to pick up on the white and break up the look a little bit. Overall, I enjoy this really nice monochrome upper half with a couple of neutrals, namely the denim blue and then a couple of elements of the white. In terms of accessories, we've got four rings, two rings on each hand. Three of them are from my boy's brand, Serge Denim. I'm gonna be wearing these for the majority of the video, so you see them once. And I'm also wearing my Piaget Polo S watch, so a couple silver accents to finish it off, and that's look number one. Look, I know I said these are early fall outfits, so maybe a t-shirt, a hoodie, and a jacket is a little bit much, but a t-shirt and a lighter medium weight jacket absolutely work for these temperatures. New York is cooling down weirdly over the last couple of weeks. So for this outfit, we've got the same pair of jeans back to back. Now on my feet, a pair of off-whites where I had to eventually just cut off all these orange tags to make them a lot more wearable. Up top, we've got from Abercrombie a really nice, super soft essential, a nice little tee right here in an off-white color. And up top from Wax London, a jacket that I bought towards the end of spring. It's like early summer. I bought this, wore it once or twice, and I couldn't wear it anymore because the temperatures got too hot, but I absolutely love this piece and will wear it a lot this season. Wax London makes a lot of these jackets, a brand that I stumbled upon in Bloomingdale's. So really nice piece and accessories, like I said, the rings again, we've got from Movement, a stainless steel watch with a light blue face. And then you can also add a little, add a little flare on the face. There we go. From Morby Parker, blue lenses, metal frame. So it works really, really well with the outfit. And I wore it like this, but I frankly think that the sneakers might be a little bit much for this outfit. So I probably, if I'm gonna wear this again, I'm gonna opt for something a little bit more simple in terms of sneaker. So maybe just a straight up off-white, all off-white sneaker. Not off-white the brand, off-white the color. Ha. Outfit number three, we've got a head to not toe butt ankle outfit from Abercrombie and Fitch. We've got that same basic t-shirt that is definitely gonna be part of many, many outfits as an essential this fall for me. On top of that, this beautiful Chicard jacket, floral print, nice earthy colors. Contrasting that with a brown pair of denim. Had these throughout the spring and summer already and have worn them then, but definitely gonna be wearing them a whole lot in the fall. You notice that this concept is very similar to look number two. We've got a jacket on top of a shirt with a pair of jeans and you've got sneakers on your feet, which by the way are from Bruno Mali. Absolutely beautiful, just got those as well. Also gonna be a staple for me in the fall. But just by choosing more earth colors, this is a lot more fall appropriate and a little bit more of a standout look than your safer combination of blue and white. You can finish that look off with this Abercrombie tote and also with a pair of Ray-Ban shades if you want to, which I'm gonna take off because it's impolite to be talking to you guys with my shades on. But I thought this canvas tote definitely rounded out the look really well. So Abercrombie, look. You've got essentials, whether it's a t-shirt, a hoodie, sweat sets, denim in colors, variations, different fits, different sizes, ultra comfortable, high quality. I'm such a big fan of the brand. Then now they're coming around with these incredible statement pieces like this jacket. And just reaching ahead here a little bit, also things like this cardigan, absolutely chef's kiss. So I know that Abercrombie underwent this whole big change over the past decade and a half. But right now, I literally have this conversation almost every other day with people of many different backgrounds, internationally in Europe as well, where people are like, whoa, what is going on with Abercrombie? They are having an insane moment. So if you are sleeping on them, wake up, wake up. I'm telling you, it's a great value. They are high quality pieces. I've had many of them for years now. 
And um, I think you guys should, if you like something, of course, in this video, check out the links down below because I'm gonna be putting them there. Otherwise, check out the website. Take a look and see if anything speaks to you because I honestly cannot authentically, I know this is a sponsored video, but I authentically cannot speak more highly of the brand than what they're doing right now. So uh, check them out. Don't think I'm done talking about Abercrombie this video because there's several more pieces that you likely are gonna like as well. So stay tuned. Let's take a look at outfit number four now. Outfit number four, AKA Thursday. Here we got a combination of colors that I don't normally play around with, but I wanted to be open to exploring different things, which you'll also see in the next couple of outfits, but not just in terms of style, also in terms of color. So we've got a simple gray washed out t-shirt, a bit on the looser side on top of that from Mango Man, a cognac-ish medium brown cardigan. A uh, bunch more cardigans coming too. That's like the thing, the, the light jackets and cardigans. That's where I'm at. All my legs we've got from Abercrombie, a pair of loose fitting painter pants. Not only do they have the painter features, they also got paint specs all over them. Off-white color on my feet from Bruno Mali, the same sneakers one more time. And then to kind of tie it in, we've got from Urban Outfitters, a little crossbody bag. And if you look closely, in this little pocket right here. I've got the same Ray-Bans one more time. Statement piece, works really well with the color. I think the shoes and the shades, I'm gonna wear a lot together. Once I find something that works well in terms of colors with accessories, I tend to just wear those with a bunch of different looks. So that works really well. A little tip for you there. I'm gonna put these back away. Same reason as before. And then once more, the rings. My Longines watch I have on my wrist, brown croc leather strap. So picking up on the dark brown accents. So buttons and shoelaces, very minimal, but it's those subtle details that really tie an outfit together. Relaxed fit, literally, but also uh, still kind of put together, playing off those earth colors, but with that white pants. So definitely a standout look in the fall. On Friday, we've got a business casual fit. That's an overstatement. This is not business casual, but it's got an air of elegance with this nice Abercrombie long sleeve, knitted, buttonless, polo in gray, absolutely love this piece, really, really nice. I chose to pair it with my black Reese traveler pants on my feet, a pair of Puma kicks in white and gray. Then we've got a tote bag, this one is from Madewell, and we've got a little hat from a brand in China. I forget, I forget the name, but it's got a little spooky boo symbol up top. In terms of jewelry, we got my Mont Blanc watch, black leather strap to pick up on the black, silver face, so pick it up on the gray a little bit, same rings, one more time, and look, not business, but it is a polo, so if you're taking meetings at home, this part looks very professional. You can obviously take the hat off if that's too sporty for you, but I enjoyed making this fairly classic piece. Just a little bit more athletic, a little bit more of a, yeah, I guess contemporary look than you'd expect just looking at this piece to begin with. And on Saturday, we play around a little bit with outfit number six. This is what I was talking about when I was saying I uh, wanna experiment more again, try out new things, so I'm wearing a beautiful, very unique cardigan from Abercrombie. Underneath from Abercrombie as well, simple tank top. On my legs though, a double pleated houndstooth, basically bell bottom, like a very 70s silhouette. Overall, a very 70s look. Finishing that off with my uh, Black Sock and Weber loafers, tassel loafers and brown grain leather. Got the white socks, cause we gotta pick up on the white of the t-shirt. Now we still have those rings, we have the Longines watch one more time, and now we also have from Carolina Lemke a nice pair of black acetate framed shades that have like a brownish lens. So perfectly balancing this. The houndstooth is gray and black. The cardigan has black elements as well as brown. So this is a really, really nice balance for me. And this is a, I, I really like this look. I can't lie. I, I, I said, I said I wasn't gonna talk to you with the sunglasses on, and this is what I've been doing for this. Now, now I do it. What, what is wrong with me? Oh no, but you tell me. Not, I'm not great at the British accent thing. Anyway, I really like this look. Uh, really looking forward to what you guys think because I think I'm finding my style again in, a, in, in this new era of menswear and I think I could also incorporate more of these looks. So please let me know in the comments if you like this, but another head to ankle Abercrombie look. Now we finished off with a nice travel outfit. We've got from ATOS the Movement Cargo Pants, brand new, launched a couple of weeks ago. I, for those of you that don't know, am the creative director of ATOS, so these are one of my first babies that I made together with my boy Alex Costa. Super happy with it, and you guys definitely need to check them out. We got them in black, and we got them in blue on the website as well, so make sure you check those out. This long sleeve, also from ATOS, on top of that, we have an Amy Leon Door cardigan. I've had this for a couple of seasons now. Simple gray cardigan, sweatshirt material, really nice. Goes both ways, like goes uh, dressy as well as street. This one definitely a bit more casual street. I am using my Dior X Remova bag, primarily because I did use this outfit to travel a couple of weeks ago, and I always use this to travel. I think it just works really well. Got that Mood, it's the brand, brand name of that Chinese cap manufacturer, Mood, cap on. One more time, on my feet, we've got the New Balance 5740s in gray day. 
And as such, we have an achromatic combination of white, gray, and black, which is a really nice, simple way to uh, match different colors, not colors, but three different contrasts, technically. If you just stick to black and white, it can sometimes be very contrasty. Bridging that gap with the gray is gonna make a lot of things very, very easy. On my wrist, one more time, we've got the Mont Blanc watch with the black leather strap, with that silver face that once again ties into the gray. So overall, a simply managed, colorless outfit that still has some dynamic to it. So that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the looks. As I said, links are down below. I'm gonna get better at putting all the links out all the time. Again, I really am trying to buckle down and, and get this channel back alive because I uh, still very much enjoy dressing up and I hope you guys still enjoy watching me. There's gonna be another few, I mean, I feel like I keep launching projects and then they go nowhere, but this is just part of me trying to find a little bit of a new direction. I hope that there's gonna be one at least possibly two new channels that have more of a podcast form, one in English and one in German. So for those of you that don't speak German, but the English one could be really cool. Uh, so I'm not gonna tease any more than that. This is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon with the next video. Promise. Promise. Until then, stay dapper. Bye y'all.